Hey guys, what is up everybody, welcome to a new video. In today's video let's talk about things which can be better with Yamaha Tracer 9. In my previous videos I told you all good things about this motorcycle, I actually shared with you my riding experience and how I like riding Yamaha Tracer 9. But since now it's winter time and uh, some of you may be thinking of buying this motorcycle or maybe some of you already own this motorcycle and thinking what to upgrade on this motorcycle, so this video can be actually helpful, so I'm gonna share with you my thoughts on that. Honestly speaking, none of those things are critical because you can ride this motorcycle, you can enjoy this motorcycle without any problems. But if you want to have a little bit more comfort, a little bit more practicality, so just keep listening, keep watching this video and uh, maybe you will find something for yourself. And thankfully some of those things can actually be improved with uh, maybe third-party accessories or maybe with accessories which Yamaha offers themselves. One thing, like just really one thing which annoys me in ergonomics of this motorcycle it is a menu joystick or scroll wheel you know the one which you have on the right side of the handlebar uh, this uh, scrolling wheel you use to navigate through the dashboard, through the menu, maybe to reset some parameters. To be honest, it's not that much tactile. Sometimes you push this, this wheel and uh, nothing happens. And uh, also when you scroll it, it's too much sensitive. You try to push and then you scroll it a little bit and it just jumps to, the, to another section on the screen and you're like, how oh, come on, I did not want to change this particular part, I wanted to change like this part. And it's kind of a little bit annoying and we can see that Yamaha improved it in next generation of uh, Tracer 9 GT Plus, which I showed you from Eikma in Milan. And now instead of, uh, instead of the wheels, they have actually real joysticks, which should be much better experience in the future. So this part you kind of change, but you just keep, keep it in mind if you're looking towards buying this motorcycle. Seats on this motorcycle. If you use this motorcycle as, uh, just as commuter, that probably will be fine with you, but my general take on that, it's not really comfortable. And also material is not really premium material, it's like a little bit on the cheap side. But then you can upgrade this seat with, uh, with a comfort seat which is offered by Yamaha. And uh, I really like it because it's a little bit more plushy, it's a little bit more comfortable and I saw the seats, they're really, really good and I'm actually planning to buy those seats for myself as well. If you want to put some miles on this motorcycle, if you plan to travel on this motorcycle, definitely upgrade the seat. If you look at this bike from the from, from front, you have uh, running lights and you actually have main light. And for the main light, you have two sections and one of them is always working and another one is not working. And like people look at me and say, oh, look, your you have your bulb is not working. Like you have only one light running because everyone expect like some kind of symmetry. Right. So people expect that both of them will be working. And I'm saying, no, 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 no worries. Like one of them is a running light, like all times there. And another one is a high beam light. Both of those lights are not good enough. If you compare it to some other motorcycles um, in the market, they have much better lightning experience. So when you're right Tracer 9 in the, in the dark, it's actually not really comfortable because you don't really see everything. And for this matter, you might to consider to buy um, fog lights as a, an additional accessory to this motorcycle. So keep that in mind. But it also depends how you're gonna ride this motorcycle and what conditions, because maybe you're in the part of the world where you have long days and you basically just don't need it. Radiator of this motorcycle, it becomes dirty quite easily. You might to consider to buy a mudguard extension for this motorcycle. I think it's, it's just not expensive, but it's absolutely necessary because otherwise you're risking to, to damage the radiator and uh, it's not that hard to damage it, but it's really hard to replace it, right? So it's expensive and it's uh, kind of like sensitive part of the, of the motorbike. So if you plan to use this motorcycle long term, uh, definitely think about it. Uh, windscreen. And this windscreen has been one of the problems which everyone talks about. And I can just confirm that this windscreen is not really functional. It is there. It is like not bad for in-city ride or maybe for some, you know, commuting job. But the thing is, if you're 
plan to use this motorcycle for your weekend rides or even for longer journeys and you want to go on highways you definitely need to upgrade it and uh, there are plenty of options by now in the market so uh, you can buy some third party brands or you can buy one from Yamaha uh, but definitely think about it because honestly the one which is come which comes with the, with the motorcycle is not that much uh, practical. I don't know how to put it in the right way. So basically there is a pan uh, of the engine bay like which is uh, down there and um, the thing about it is that it's not visible because when you look at the motorcycle you see you see all those uh, exhaust pipes which is coming from the engine and they go underneath the motorcycle and my personal impression was that it's kind of like protecting engine bay as well so if you scratch something uh, down there the biggest uh, damage which you can have is just uh, you know some dent in their exhaust pipes but then I got myself in situation one day where I was actually going a little bit of road and I scratched the um, you know exhaust pipes and I then stopped and I wanted to see how bad it is and then I bent onto my knees and I look at this from another side not from the like right side of the motorcycle I saw there is like part of the engine bay which is on the aqo level with the exhaust pipes and I was like wow that was risky you know so if uh, I'm not that lucky as now so if there is some uh, you know big stone or something I can actually hit this part of the engine and the uh, all oil will come out from there and uh, to be honest i had the situation in the past on my honda motorcycle and uh, that was not really pleasant experience uh, because you're in the middle of nowhere your oil is leaked first of all you do damage to the nature secondly you just cannot run the engine because there is no oil in the engine and uh, i would say that pretty much it as i told you before i am happy with the overall experience i like riding this motorcycle i believe it's just like perfect motorbike for every kind of scenario in in city out of the city but then there is one design thing which i don't really understand and uh, again it does not affect functionality of this bike or practic practicality of this motorcycle i just want to share it with you and see your feedback or maybe what you think about it engine bay and most of the manufacturers they try to design engine bays for it to look really nice and uh, I would tell you that Triumph does really really good job so when you look at the engine bay on Triumph it kind of looks really organized and all the parts of the engine is kind of like stick together and uh, when you look at Tracer 9 you see this kind of like empty space in the middle so you can actually you know see through it why it's empty you know like it's just so it's always steer my attention to this part of the engine bay and i was like wow i just why they cannot design it in much compact way right um so this is a thing which i was like always trying to understand uh, but again, as I mentioned before, it doesn't affect functionality of the motorcycle anyhow. So let me know what you think about it. What is your experience with Tracer 9? Also, subscribe to this channel. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.